Hi everyone, welcome back to Health Net Nutrition. My name is Nikki and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys my creamy roasted red pepper and tomato soup. It's so delicious, so easy to make, and it is really nutritious and good for you. It's completely dairy free, so it's a vegan, it's a great vegan option, and I just love making it. I've been making it since the summertime, but I thought it's more of a cold weather soup, so I'll hold off on it. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more delicious weekly recipes like this one you can just click on the button right here if you are on desktop if you are on mobile then just I think you just uh, swipe up and you can click that big red subscribe button there it really helps support my channel and allows me to create free content for you guys on YouTube so thank you so much and without further ado let's get into the recipe First, we're going to spice things up with some turmeric, pepper, salt, red pepper flakes, garam masala, and paprika. You'll then need some olive oil. You can really use any of your favorite oils. Coconut oil would work as well. Bouillon cubes. I use chicken, which are actually vegan, believe it or not. Some coconut milk. Stay tuned for a funny blooper with that one. Uh, red pepper. Onion. One bulb of garlic. We're gonna roast this. It's gonna be amazing. You'll then need a lemon. Tomatoes. Fresh basil. I find, I always have basil on hand because it's like my favorite fresh herb. And then you're gonna first start off by slicing up. You're just like roughly dicing your uh, medium uh, sized tomatoes. So it doesn't have to be fancy. We're gonna blend it up anyway. So go ahead and slice all of those up. Next, get out that red pepper because I'm going to show you a quick way to cut it. So you chop off the stem and then you lay it flat and you're just going to kind of go around the center and just cut around. This makes it really easy, keeps the seeds out of the way and it gives you nice chunks to roast later. Next, we're going to chop up the onion. You guys know how to chop up an onion, super simple. Like I said, roughly chop, everything's roughly chopping. This is why the soup is so easy and why I love roasted veggie soups like this. Now for the garlic, we're just chopping off the very top of it because we're gonna roast this in the oven, so you wanna keep it in the actual shell so it doesn't dry out. Um, so yeah, it's a really easy way to cut garlic. You just chop it off and then it's ready to be roasted. Now in just a medium sized bowl, you're gonna go ahead, add all those freshly chopped tomatoes, the onion, I kinda break mine up a little bit. You're gonna roughly um, tear up the fresh basil and then we're gonna drizzle it with our olive oil, a little bit of some black pepper and sea salt and then you're just gonna toss that up really simple simple um, and then also just throw in that lemon juice in there this is just gonna kind of tenderize it bring out all the flavors and as always the recipe will be at healthnutnutrition.ca throw everything on a parchment lined baking sheet and just kind of spread it out evenly so everything's roasted and cooks evenly and then you're gonna go ahead add in those red peppers you don't have to put oil on them they'll be fine and then don't forget that bulb of garlic. Put a little bit of oil, olive oil on there so it stays nice and moist and doesn't dry out. Then you're ready to throw in your veggies into the oven at 400. And I just put mine on for an hour to really, you know, get them nice and roasted. And basically it does all the cooking for you and it just adds so much flavor. I then after 20 minutes will take out the garlic because it will dry out if you leave it in there for the full hour. Trust me. I've tried it and then after an hour you can go ahead and take out your roasted veggies I let mine cool slightly um, because I actually like to peel the skin off of the red pepper I've left it in before but I find you do um, feel the texture throughout the soup so it's up to you I like to just uh, quickly peel mine just make sure that it's cooled down a little bit so you don't burn your hands or wear gloves now on the stovetop in a nice big pot, you're gonna go ahead and start adding your water, your bouillon cubes, and I just like to break mine up a bit just so it kind of um, melts evenly in the water pretty quickly. And then go ahead and just bring that up to like a nice simmer, um, and then go ahead and throw in those roasted veggies.
Next, you can go ahead and add in all those spices. Spices is a great way to naturally um, spice up and flavor your dishes. Uh, so you're gonna go ahead, give that a nice stir, and then you can go ahead and start blending up your soup. I'm using this immersion blender. I will have a link for it down below. As you can see, it's very well loved and stained from many previous soups, um, but it's just really easy because you can stick it right in the soup while it's still on the stove. I normally lower the temperature at this point so it's not bubbling while I'm doing this, and it literally takes less than five minutes to just blend everything up, or you can transfer it into a larger uh, blender like a Vitamix or Blendtec and blend it up as well. Then you're gonna just go ahead and add in that coconut milk. This is gonna give it a creamy texture without any of like dairy or unhealthy um, substitutes like that. Go ahead and plate it or bowl it. <laughs> We're gonna bowl our soup because I guess you don't plate soup, but you can go ahead, throw it in a bowl, and you can just see like the color from the coconut milk really brings out the orange and red from the tomato and red pepper. And there you have it, so delicious, so beautiful, and I feel like I want a bowl right now. Thank you so much for watching this recipe video. I hope you guys enjoy this creamy roasted red pepper tomato soup and I hope you try it out. If you recreate this, I have a portion right here for me. If you recreate this, please take me in your photos on like social media, Instagram, Facebook, send me a snap. I'm on Snapchat, I love it. And, um, and send me some photos. I would love to see your recreations. I know that you and your family are gonna love this soup recipe and you can easily just like put it in just different portions, put it in the freezer and have it throughout the whole week or month or whenever you're just craving a creamy soup like this one. So if you guys like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I will have a button right here for you. And give this video a big thumbs up if you like, you know, recipes like this one and you wanna see more. I really appreciate it and it helps support my channel. So thank you so much guys for watching and I hope you are having an amazing fall season and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs> Thank you for sticking to the end. I have one more uh, quick announcement. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I actually have a Superfoods ebook out. It's over on my uh, website, healthnutnutrition.ca, and it basically is showcasing five of my everyday go-to superfoods. I show how to eat, store, buy, prepare um, all of these superfoods, uh, beets, quinoa, kale, avocado, and chia seeds. They're just some of the most amazing foods. They're so versatile. You can buy them in every grocery store, basically, and I just have tons of tips, tricks, things that I've learned throughout the years, and then the special bonus is I actually have five exclusive YouTube recipe videos. So when you buy the ebook, the ebook is $6.99, you will have access to five full length recipe videos. Um, this one here is my warm beet salad. It's so good, the dressing is to die for. So if you guys are interested in purchasing a copy of this ebook, um, you can just go ahead and click on the ebook right now and it will take you over to my website, healthnetnutrition.ca and you can go over there in the menu bar, you'll see ebook, click on that and then you will get sent over to the landing page. It gives lots of information, photos, like a look inside of the ebook and like some of the uh, screenshots of the videos. Um, share it with friends and family if you think they might be interested. Like I said, it just supports my channel. I put a lot of energy and work into creating this ebook so it just means so, so much to me if you guys purchase it and check it out. Um, if you do, send me a, like take me in a photo or something on social media, that would make my day. I love you guys so very much and I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.